Welcome to the Rover. We're going to teach you how to use the Rover and all its attachments. The Rover's whole design evolved from our experience designing paddle boards and incorporates many of the same features and functionality, allowing you to use many of the same attachments as our other boards. The whole shape utilizes a deep V at the bow, which slices through the water quietly and efficiently while paddling. While running, the Rover was designed to ride with the nose out of the water, which allows for a smoother ride and a tighter turning radius. On the nose, you'll find a recessed grab handle. It's a convenient place to lift the nose of the board during transport. Use with the wheel rack to easily transport your Rover to and from your vehicle while launching. You can also use the grab handle to tie on a bow line. The recessed design allows you to hide the handle for snag-free casting from the bow. Also integrated into the bow is the paddle sheath. Simply slide the blade of your paddle into the slot to free up your hands for other activities. Thick rails provide a ton of stability and flotation, making the Rover the most stable board we've ever developed. Bungee straps in the bow are a great place to strap down any extra gear. The top of the rails are lined with a series of Connect Sup plugs. These attachment points can be swapped out with various plugs to outfit Rover the way you want. Simply loosen or tighten the set screws to remove or install. The most popular plug features a quarter 20 threaded attachment point, perfect for adding any number of attachments available from Ram Mount or Scotty for things like fish finders or additional rod holders. Attach the included vertebrae to add a convenient place to store a sand spear or paddle. The Rover's sunken cockpit increases stability by lowering the center of gravity of the rider and sheds all water directly off the back of the board. Notice the rod storage holes. Simply insert the rod for convenient on-deck storage. Heat sealed to help shed water and textured for superior grip, the deck pad provides plenty of cushion to reduce fatigue while standing. Sand spear lash points are integrated into the deck pad, the perfect place to store a sand spear or paddle when not in use. Use the additional molly lash points to attach extra gear. Unscrew the lid of the stash pod and use it as a drink holder or a place to store things like money or keys. At the rear of the board, Rover includes two mounting positions for a PowerPole Micro wireless anchor system. Attach the mounting bracket, add the PowerPole Micro, and you're in business. Wirelessly set the anchor in shallow water to hold a position, perfect for windy days or strong currents. The Rover was designed to be a fully functional and capable paddleboard. The main feature that sets Rover apart is the ability to add power through the use of the included moto rack. Simply slide the motor rack into the receivers located on the rails of the board. Make sure the mounting plate is facing the nose of the board. Then tighten the set screws with the included Allen key to hold it in place. You can also use cam straps to lash the motor rack to the deck of the board. This will ensure the motor rack cannot slide out while in use. To add a motor, simply slide the motor onto the motor rack and tighten the clamps. We recommend that you use a six horsepower short shaft with an internal gas tank. Adjust the tilt pin so that the anti-cavitation plate is parallel with the underside of the board. The anti-cavitation plate should be approximately two inches below the underside of the board for best results. At high speeds, the turning radius of the rover is limited. To avoid cavitation, do not oversteer the motor at high speeds. To extend the range of the rover, the motor rack is equipped with Rotopax mounting points, which allow you to bring more gas, water, or just supplies. Simply bolt the Rotopax to the motor rack using the mounting hardware, slide on the Rotopax, and tighten. Since the rover's rack system is modular, you can configure rover the way you want. Experiment with different rack positions to find the one that works best for you. Simply slide a rack into the receiver points to attach. In the sitting position, a bucket rack can be attached in the rear mounting position and outfitted with a Kula, making the perfect seat. In the front, the bucket rack can hold a bait bucket, a Kula, and provide additional rod storage. The grab rack was designed specifically for the Rover and features additional rod holders, a hook caddy, and molly loops to allow you to attach additional gear. The grab rack serves as a grab handle while under power and works well in both sitting and standing configurations. In the standing configuration, you'll want to add a tiller extension handle so you can control the motor from a comfortable position. In the paddle only configuration, a tackle rack works well to provide additional gear storage and rod holders. Moving to the bottom of the board. Running channels improve the stability of the board while cruising, forcing water to the sides of the board. Rover is equipped with two sets of fin boxes to accommodate small or large fins. Use the short fins only to access shallower water. Use the large fins for open water paddling. 
to install the small fins, insert the fins, and tighten the screws. This is the installation of the larger fin. The rack receivers in the bottom of the board are compatible with the wheel rack. Outfitted with oversized wheels, the wheel rack will help you transport Rover over most terrain. To attach, simply slide the wheel rack into the receivers. Use the grab handle of the nose of the board to easily drag the Rover to and from the water. When transporting Rover in the bed of a truck, we recommend adding a bed extender. Put the nose on the bed extender and push the tail into the bed. Rover can also be transported on the trailer or on roof racks. It's up to you. If you plan on using Rover with a motor, you will need to register the craft at your local DMV or tax collector's office. We provide an MCO to make this possible. To keep Rover looking good, please follow all maintenance, care, and safety instructions included with the Rover. Failure to do so could void the warranty. Please register your Rover on our website for the warranty to be valid. Well, thankfully that about covers it. We hope you enjoy Rover for years to come, and if you have any problems, please contact our support team to let us know what they are.